Next question, question 26. A principal P becomes Q in one year when compounded half yearly with R percentage annual rate of interest. If the same principal P becomes Q in one year when compounded annually with S percentage annual rate of interest, then which one of the following is correct? Options are R equal to S, R greater than S, R less than S, R less than equal to S. Sorry. So if you're familiar with the, com uh, the concept of compound interest, you can right away see uh, the first ha compounding half yearly is better for us and in even if uh, if after compounding annually we are also get we are getting the same in uh, interest uh, that means uh, s has to be greater than r so if you're familiar with the concept you can right away say s is greater than r and the solution to question 26 is uh, c so i'll just explain with an ex example uh, say we have uh, 100 rupees and our uh, what happens when we compound half yearly say annual rate of interest is say 20 percentage okay so 20 percentage means half yearly we will have 10 percentage uh, so 10 percentage of 100 because 100 10 percentage of 100 is 10 rupees so when after six months this 10 rupees interest will be added to the principal so after six months we will have 110 rupees now when one year gets completed we will add 10 percentage of this to our interest so 10 percentage of this is 11 so 110 plus 11 which is 121 rupees so at the end of one year we will have 121 rupees so let's say we instead of doing this we just compound annually with uh, 20 percentage interest so we have 100 rupees 20 percentage will be uh, 20 percentage of 100 will be uh, 20 rupees so at the end of the year we will add 20 rupees to it and 120 so if you add, compound half yearly we will get 121 and if you just compound uh, annually uh, we will get 120 rupees so as you can see uh, if you compound half yearly we are getting better inc uh, better interest and that is why i said uh, for these to match if these if, if in the question it is said we have different annual interest rate and uh, for the annual case and half com half yearly case so if this has to match this interest rate the interest rate in this case has to be higher otherwise this won't match otherwise this will be always higher so to, for this these values to match this interest rate has to be higher so that means uh, S has S percentage has to be higher than R percentage, which is the half yearly case. So I hope what, uh, you understand understood what it means to compound half yearly with an uh, R percentage interest rate, and what it means to compound annually with S percentage interest rate. These two are the different case I explained. So even if you have still doubt um, regarding this concept, do comment. I will try to address it. So anyway, solution to question twenty six is. C, R is less than S.